Welcome to 90 Day Fiance, where you get 90 days to marry your fiance who totally loves you. And this is all about love and not money, which is why it's televised on TLC. Here we have our couple, Erwin Bonker and Maya Sil... What was it? That one. This is Maya. She's from the Middle East. Sim Middle East. That's the pizza delivery guy. Hello. She's from the Middle East and uh, he's from Sim America. And they met online. Er Erwin doesn't look like his profile picture completely. He may have lied a little bit. This is what his profile picture was like. But you know what? Despite being completely disappointed with the fact that the person she was talking to online is not entirely the person she was talking to online, she's willing to give love a chance because she really did love him when they were texting on Facebook. They just came back from the airport and despite uh you know Maya's disappointment they're here and she's getting ready to go into their her new home go away welcome wagon okay don't don't bombard her she just arrived in a new country this is not their house this is not where Erwin lives this is where he said he lives but he actually lives right across the street um over there he's got a roof I promise there it is that's his actual house um it's not what she was expecting it's not what she gave up her entire life to go and live in but this is just what we're living with now let's go in and give Maya the full tour. Now, as if you guys do not know, I in real life am Arab and Maya is a beautiful name, but in Arabic it it means water. Her name is just Maya. It's water. So her parents must have really loved her. I just wanted to point that out. Some good lore. So let's go in. I'm sure it'll be a beautiful little house. Come on, show her in, Erwin. We've got the cameras already set up for the TV show as well. Go inside. You're gonna love this. We'll go in first person. Wow, look at this place. Oh, isn't this just the house of your dreams? We have a mini fridge. It's not an actual full fridge, but look, look, he's showing off what we got. And we've got a lovely television and Maya's already ready to just sit down and watch some television on this very luxurious screen. She's a little upset because uh, she is a snob and she's in a very normal, this is kind of, this isn't really normal, this is less than normal, but Maya, the best thing is, Erwin's got a fucking gaming rig. You want to play World of Warcraft with him? Look, she's gonna go, no, 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 Maya, that's not for browsing the web. Maya, we don't, we're here to play World of Warcraft. This is what, this is what Erwin does in his free time and I know he doesn't have a job and I know that we've only got 15 Samoa but this is your new life now, aren't you happy? She's so depressed. I think the issue is here. Their friendship meter is basically at the bottom because she uh, basically met this version of Erwin for the first time today. Oh, he's his teeth are a little... It's okay, buddy. So she doesn't really trust him. No, 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 Maya, you can't cook food. We we, we can't afford it right now. So how about you just sit down? I think the main problem is Erwin has only just had this couch. This, I mean, chair. He This is the only chair he had, and he found this chair outside in a garage sale. And instead of buying it, he stole it just so Maya can have a place to sit. Isn't that absolutely wonderful? Oh, she's so happy. She's not really used to these living conditions. So I think in order to make her happy, we're going to have to buy her a couch. I think the two of these guys need to go together and go find a place to buy a really nice couch. Also, Maya, just before we go, I no, stop trying to make food. Sit down, Maya. You cannot eat. We don't have the money for that. Well, also, Maya, before we go, I just want to let you know you're not allowed to touch the poster of Soul Soul in Space. It's signed by the director. Erwin's a huge fan. Oh my god. Erwin's a huge fan of Soul Soul in Space. Maya, sit down. Sit down. This is your new life now. You don't get to eat right now. No. And I know that Erwin has just had a plate of chips, but you know what? You don't get to have any. You're used to actual cooked food and we can't afford that here. So let's just go buy a couch. I'm sure we'll find one very affordable. All right, we are here at Sim Ikea. It's very small. It's not even really an Ikea. I just... Look, look, they have couches. They have couches and that one is pink. And Maya's favorite color is blue. So let's hopefully find a blue couch. So this is a really nice spot. You can buy clothes, but Maya, do not look at the clothes. We are here for couch only. We have 15 simoleons and I'm pretty sure we'll find something. She has found some applesauce. Where did you get that applesauce and where did you get that spoon, Maya? However, Maya has found a couch. This is the couch that she likes. Um, how do we buy this couch? Can we afford this couch? Or is it not set for sale? I don't really know how this works. We could go for the pink couch, but I think Maya really, really wants this black couch. Um, someone is coming to speak with her about the couch. Hello? Hello? So it turns out that the couches here are actually not for sale because EA has forgotten to put them for sale. The only thing that we could buy here are clothes and we can't afford them. I find that a bit disappointing. Can we buy any of these? No. Okay, so this is purely a clothes 
clothes store despite there being a literal furniture option. So Maya, I know that you're in a different country now and I promise you it's not that different from the Middle East. This store is just messed up. They messed it up. Oh my god, Earl, stop playing Blick Block on your phone. This is no time for gaming. You're with your new girlfriend now. Why don't you try and make a move on her? This will go down perfectly. Why don't you try and flirt with her? See if she likes it. Okay, Maya's into it for some reason. I think she's 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 a little bit hopeful at this point. Oh, this is going kind of well, actually, despite them not being able to buy a kid. Whoa, Ir Irwin, what the fuck? Why are you yelling? Irwin, what did she do? She's just trying to buy a couch. Lenore. Yeah, Benor to you, Erwin. Absolutely disgust. Who are you? Deacon. Hi, Deacon. Um, we're kind of in the middle of trying to buy a couch here. You know, why don't you try and apologize, Erwin? Oh my god, now she's yelling at everybody else. Look at what you did. Why don't you try and ask her a risque question? Yeah, no, she's not into you anymore, buddy, because you just freaking screamed at her. Now she's double angry. Okay, okay, listen, you, she's embarrassed now. Look what you did. Is there anywhere for her to hide? Hi, Aya. Um, how do I purchase couch from you? Okay, so this isn't really working right now, and their relationship is kind of going back and forth. I feel like couch shopping may have been the worst thing we could possibly do on 15 simoleons. And we need to find a way to make some money because we have no money, and Maya can't really get a job right now because she just moved here. She doesn't have a working visa. And Earl, Earl, why do I keep calling him Earl? His name is Irwin. Irwin doesn't want to get a job. And he keeps wasting all of his money entering gaming competitions that he keeps losing. So he's just constantly losing money. And God forbid you try and tell him to cancel his World of Warcraft subscription. He will not do it. Okay, we are back home. All right, this will be fine. Maya's already just watching TV. She just wants to forget about her life right now because this is awful. What is, what is the relationship? at right now. It's basically at nothing. We were actually higher before we went couch shopping. I don't know if these guys are actually ever gonna get married. No, 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 no. You don't get to use the PC. Why don't you go use the bathroom? Oh my gosh. There are no lights in the bathroom, but you know what? I think, I think that's pretty probably a good thing. You don't actually want to see where you're putting your butt down. Look at that. That was like that before she got here. There are actual flies. She put her butt on some flies and you know what she- Oh my god, look at her. Look at her moodlets. <laughs> She's gonna throw up now. That's how bad it is. And she's cleaning now. She's like, I can't live here. And the cameraman isn't even here, by the way. I find that to be hilarious. The cameraman just stuck the camera in here and he was like, this will be fine. TLC will still pay me for this. Why are you so sad? He's feeling hurt. I, I don't care, Erwin. You lied. You lied to this poor woman. You know what, Maya? Step out. Maya, why don't you go meet some of the, the local the, the locals here in America? Sim Simerica. Sim Simerica. America. Hello. Oh, I was just out for a walk and you seem to be quite a, a handsome fella. Um, I'm gonna ask about your day. What's your name? Marcus Flex? Wow. Wow. You've got a tattoo, dude. Wow. This is fine. And you know what? Erwin's just playing video games. He doesn't care. I'm sure he'd get extremely upset if he found out that Maya was speaking to somebody else, but it's okay because he can't own her. He's ba She's basically trapped in his house, but he doesn't really own her. And look at her. She's just, she's just making friends. That's all this is. Nothing but, wow, lady, you are walking with a purpose. Do you think maybe, Marcus, you could flex your muscles for me? Or do you get that question too often? Wow, he never skips leg day. People are just okay with walking in the middle of someone's conversation. Like, they don't care. They're getting on really well. It's like he's an actual functioning human being with aspirations and actually looks after himself. She's a very beautiful, beautiful woman. And I think these guys will have an amazing friendship and nothing else will happen. He doesn't care. He's gaming. He's just, you know, go pee and then go back to gaming, man. Okay, here's the thing. Erwin's life is unchanged. He's just continuing to do his life. This is just what it is. Now he's just got a hot girl living in his house. But for Maya, unfortunately, her entire life has just changed. For probably the worst, there is a vampire making a beeline for Erwin's house. And you know what? Maya is very happy she's not in there right now. Goodbye, Lilith. Maya, 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 you have a, you have a, you have a partner right across the street. But we're just gonna continue with this. This is fine. Why don't you ask him... 
ask him a nice question. Just a question about his pecs. She wants to know how to get pecs like that Um, in her bed. This is fine. This is what happens all the time. This is just the season 17. Oh no, bye-bye, Marcus. It was so nice meeting him. Well, Maya is now sleepy and she doesn't want to talk to her her uh, boyfriend. So she's just going to go to bed now. There, It is a double bed, but uh, she doesn't want... Earl's not going to sleep in there. Earl, oh my God, his name is Erwin. What is wrong with me? The producers have called um, the producers of TLC and we have to make a quick change. Erwin, I know your name is Erwin, but I've decided... I mean, the producers have decided that Earl is a much more marketable name. So that's just what's happening now. And look, nothing has happened. He's just going back to playing video games. So we don't have anywhere for Earl to sleep. Yes, his name is Earl now. So he's just gonna game until he passes out. And eventually when Maya wakes up, he'll be able to sleep in bed. The first some fucking reason sims cannot sleep here and i don't know why you can take a nap on oh no he can did i just start ranting about something without actually knowing the full story because i do that a lot okay you can go nap in your nap in your chair now this is a man this is a dream man like if i was talking to this guy on facebook i'd come move here look at this this is just peak man right now and look he's got he at least he he decorated the place for maya look he drew those for her for her to come here and she didn't care you know earl is starting to think that maya is extremely ungrateful like he lets her sleep in his bed first of all he bought a bed for her he didn't have a bed before and he got one for her it was on the side of the road but look at the stuff that he would do for his woman and what did she do she came here immediately said i need a couch despite knowing that we only have 15 simoleons and i i know that she didn't know we had 15 simoleons when she moved here but still ungrateful Grateful, absolutely disgusting behavior. And now she's sleeping in his bed, making him sleep here. And she was talking to some guy across the street. Like, this is just disgusting. Good morning, Maya. Maya. No, Maya, don't. Oh my god. She's making grilled cheese. We have five simoleons left. Now, Maya, what is wrong with you? Your name is water. Just drink some. You'll fill up eventually. We can't afford this. You're gonna make him bankrupt. Wake up and look what your woman is doing. Look at her. Why is she doing this? She's ungrateful. She sleeps in your bed. She spends all of your money. Why didn't you come here? with money maya Ugh. they're not even it's not even gonna be a good grilled cheese there's a fire there's a fucking fire are you serious all right earl's already on it oh no they're both teamwork oh that's kind of cute couple goals though i can't believe it thank god that didn't break because we would not been able to afford to replace that so we're just gonna have this awful awful grilled cheese i told you it wasn't gonna be a good grilled cheese can you absolutely believe the ungrateful woman but you know what earl's gonna keep her around anyway because this is the first woman he's spoken to in maybe 20 years years oh yeah he lied about his age he said he was 21 i think he's a bit over 21 maybe he might not even be in his 20s maybe i don't know the sim doesn't sims don't have ages for some reason they're just like yeah i'm just generally around this point in my life i am this many years away from death here's the thing earl you have to get a job this is just ridiculous now you can't keep living like this you have sponsored this woman to come live with you and you have no money so technically it's a little bit your fault so why why don't you go and look for a job? Can you do that on the computer? Find an odd job because you have commitment issues. Um, you haven't been able to keep a job your entire life, mostly because you never apply for jobs. Uh, I'd like to hire someone to do some waxing. I want to take my darling to the ocean and I can't let my friend see her looking like she does right now. Caleb, oh my god. Go wax a strange woman. I'm sure you'll do a great job. And while you do that, Maya's gonna invite a friend over. Don't even worry about it. But why don't we invite Marcus over? Um, um, for a friendly chat and we won't change out of our lingerie. It may look bad, but I promise you, I promise you, Earl, it's not as bad as it looks. Marcus, come on over. Look, he's excited. He's excited to see her. They are such good friends. Just friends. That's all this is. This is just friendly. Is this how you communicate with your friends? Oh, hello, Maria Flosco, just casually strolling down the street. What a small world. Oh, okay. This is just what friends do. This is completely normal friendship behavior. This is just how people communicate in the United States. Hey, Marcus, I hate my boyfriend. So here, I have my boyfriend's keys and come into my house at any time. And you know what? Just ask him to be your boyfriend too. We're just, we're placing Earl at this point. Earl has been gone waxing some strange lady. And you know what? Maya wasn't super happy with that. So now, now she's just got a boyfriend. She's got a brand.
brand new boyfriend who's got a nice body. He probably has a nice job. Maya, Maya, Maya. This is, you met him yesterday. You met him yesterday in a strange country. What are you doing? You know what? He said yes, despite him being non-committal. And you know what? This is great. Look how happy they are. Why don't you just get married right now? Just elope immediately before, do it before Earl gets back. Earl's gonna be gone a while. They're getting married right here. Where's the camera? Hold on, hold on. You got it. If we're gonna do this, we have to do this right. Look at that. Okay, let's point it there. Look at this. This is so beautiful. TLC always gets the best content, don't they? They're just, these are real human lives at work. She's gotta pee in the middle of her wedding. Oh, it, cue the dramatic music. Ah, <coughs> oh, congratulations, Maya and Marcus. Marcus and water. How beautiful. They're moving in together. Oh, he's got friends. Okay, well, Maya can go live there. We will never hear from Earl again. Earl is just out there waxing some weird lady. Caleb's girlfriend's getting waxed by Earl. And now Maya is living in a wonderful house with her new husband. Um, She's got some nice friends. And look, look how nice this place is. There's not a speck of dust. There's no weird smells anywhere. And um, I don't know how the immigration authorities are going to take it now that um, Maya has just married somebody else. Although she was being sponsored by Earl. But you know what? I'm sure TLC will totally deal with that. And it won't be my problem. So uh, thank you for coming to this episode of 90 Day Fiance and uh, I don't think I'm ever gonna do this again. So, bye!